Hey y'all, it's Alec with Sharing the Journey. Um, if y'all aren't familiar with our channel, Cindy and I sold everything in 2019 and hit the road full time. This May will be five years. And we travel the country as work campers. And so what does that mean? That means that we're usually at a location three to six months. On average, I'd say it's closer to six months at a location. And we live in a beautiful 2019 Tiffin open road motorhome. Now one of the, my biggest pet peeves is um, having to, once we get all set up, is having to close the camper up to go to a location to get propane. So about two years ago, we came up with a solution and we were able to remedy that. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Today, we are gonna go ahead and hook up our uh, extend stay by Camco. We have two 30 pound propane cylinders that we use and it keeps us from be having to close the RV up. Let me show you what it looks like. So here's the propane area for the motorhome. And as you see, we have a nice size propane tank, but during the winter, um, we go through a good bit of propane. So here in South Texas, you know, you don't think about it being cool here. Well, the cool temperatures have hit, it's getting down into the upper 40s um low 50s at night and then during the day it's only getting up into the mid to upper 60s so we are using a good bit of propane so what i've done about two years ago is i put on this extend a stay uh, which is made by camco and it has been a game changer so i wanted to do a little bit of a review how we like it and then how we hook the propane cylinder up so as you can see right here this is where your regulator is and normally the regulator would screw in right here to the uh, onboard propane tank so we added this um, camco extender and so right here at this location is where you hook your gas line up from your gas bottle and if you want to we've never used it um, right here you can have an accessory port to run a gas grill or something off your your big tank now most people do this with a 20 pound propane cylinder but i was able to find two 30 pound cylinders on um, facebook marketplace so i carry those i'll hook one up when it runs out i'll swap it and then the next day or two i'll fill the one that was empty and that keeps us from having to close the uh, the motorhome up and drive to another location to get it filled um, that's a big pain so what's needed like i said we had the um, extender put on about two years ago it was very easy to do uh, all you need is a wrench and a little bit of time. It took maybe 15 minutes to install. Um, and so what we're doing today is we're using a 7 16 wrench to hook up the 5 foot propane line. And then we'll just hook it up to the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we need to make sure that we've got the propane turned off. And then there's this nut right here. It is a 7 sixteenths. And you'll hear some gas escaping from the propane system. It's not coming from the bottle. So we take that off. And then we take the uh, hose. Now you cannot hook the hose up while it is connected to the bottle because this is a secure fitting and it does not turn. So I install the hose there, and it's brass, so you don't want to over tighten it. You just want to snug it, and there you go. The propane hose is hooked up to the um, onboard system, and then I drop this back behind the chassis frame bar so that um, I'm able to close the door. 
and uh, now let's hook it up to the propane bottle so as you can see it's uh, pretty easy you just take your safety cap off and screw that on and what I'd normally do is I'll take this and I'll store this behind the, the, the bottle behind the camper if we go over here I usually put it right underneath here I'll move the bikes and then you can see I've got another cylinder right there so I've got a backup cylinder and my regular cylinder so now what we want to do is turn the propane on and check it for leaks All right, so I'm going to turn the gas on on the bottle so it's on and then I use just some soapy water uh, in a spray bottle to check you can buy that fancy um, fancy uh, leak detector stuff for like ten or twelve dollars this works fine um, make sure that what you're using does not have ammonia in it because ammonia will uh, this does not do good with the brass. So you just spray it down real good. Check for any leaks. I spray all my other fittings. And uh, yeah, we're good. I don't see any. Now one thing you'll notice is if I took out this um, extend -a stay that my hose will not hook on here. When we were in Minnesota last winter, uh, the hose that came from here to here uh, sprung a leak and when I went to Camping World um, we were in Minnesota last winter where it was gosh it was negative 20 degrees and we were going through propane like you wouldn't believe I went to uh, the closest Camping World and all they had was this hose with the um, the, the quick uh, connector uh, screw on type fitting so I had to retrofit to make it work normally you would have just one that screwed inside this fitting here but um but now we've got propane we're all hooked up when this bottle gets empty I will swap it out with the other one and take that one to get full and I don't ever have to move the RV so I've got the door closed you can see how the hose comes out underneath and I have moved the propane cylinder back here to under the ladder so it's out of the way um, it's been the easiest mod we've ever done to the coach all right today's job is done so like I said we've had that extended stay on the coach for two years we're extremely happy with it it is made getting filled up with propane um, so much easier what we normally do is we'll pull into a spot we'll set up uh, we'll make sure we're here we usually stay a week or two sometimes three before we hook it up and um, then i switch off the big propane tank that's on the board hook up the extend to stay um, right now it is towards the end of november and we will be here until april 15th so i'll probably fill that bottle two or three times um, while we're here like I said we've had it on for two years we've had zero problems with it we've had no failures the only leak we've had was with the um, the hose itself that went from the regulator to the extend -to stay and that's the original hose that came with the RV so that was not a Camco issue that was a wear and tear issue so I highly recommend that um, that you upgrade or do the mod to your motorhome if you plan on staying in places for any length of time. Now we are Amazon affiliate. I'll put a link to the Camco Extend to Stay in the About or More section at the bottom of this video. I ask that you uh, you can just click on that and uh, and have it sent to you but it's well worth doing whether you buy it through my amazon link or if you go to your local uh, camping store and get it i hope you all have enjoyed this video happy camping